doing tonight? Woo! So some people are like, hey, isn't that that guy who's sitting down over there? And now he's up here. Like, what the fuck's going on? What the fuck's going on here? Well, thank you guys. Uh, I'm not the last, hopefully not the least, but uh, I'm very happy to be up here. I'm a uh, county virgin, uh, if you will, uh, from Wisconsin. Uh, but I'm very happy to have uh, also recognize some of my friends that are out here tonight. Thank you for coming out here and supporting me. So thank you to those guys. Yeah! yeah. You got your game there, eh? Hey, someone for me? Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, no, uh, let's start off with, uh, you know, we hinted at it. Uh, you know, we may have some whales here in the crowd, but uh, how about uh, Pokemon Go? Any uh, Pokemon Go users out there? Woo! Anybody Woo! got to catch them all? Maybe, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Um, no, uh, you know, I grew up with, uh, with the cards and the video games and the whatnot, and you know, I'm definitely falling into the movement here too as well. 15, 30 million users now, and you know, it's a big deal. It's, it's a big thing. You know, it's grabbing our culture, grab, you know, uh, and you hear about it. I mean, it's in your freaking news feed, it's in your freaking LinkedIn, you're, you're gonna see it. But I, I think it's a good thing. You know, in terms of video game culture, you think like, oh, you know, like, you know, people actually getting up off their ass and like walking around, you know, this is progressive in terms of video games. Yeah, they might discover a dead body or they <laughs> find themselves in a, you know, peculiar neighborhood at two o'clock in the morning. But, you know, overall, it's a good thing. And uh, I was having a conversation with one of my coworkers, Colin, uh, over uh, where I work, and we we're talking because we're both very nostalgic of the old uh, red and blue Game Boy games. And in that game, you have a lot of different little NPCs that are there to be as obstacles as you advance along. And uh, I thought about that, like being in Pokemon Go as you're trying to go to work in the morning. And you know, some guy coming kind of up here, just going like this, and you're walking around, and all of a sudden, stop! <laughs> on one side, we have youngster, and on the other side, we have aging millennial avoiding adult responsibilities. <laughs> oh, go, go, fight! Hold on, let's take a step back here. I work at 9 to 5. I'm sure there are a lot of people over here who are fucking 9 to 5. I get up fucking early in the morning, I cross over, gotta add another 20 minutes to my fucking metro ride to the fucking safe track. Thank you very much. And then, I get over, this motherfucker wants to stop me, my boss about to chew me out, they ain't court it yet, and this guy wants to stop me. Hey, no, fuck you and your three counter piece. You know, don't charge on, fuck him. <laughs> But no, it's a good thing. I, I, you know, saw this guy, you know, over and down in the reflection pool in front of the uh, the the, uh, the Capitol. A bunch of ducks. Yeah, you've been down there before. And he's looking at the ducks, going, yeah, side duck, side duck. Ducks are like, quack, quack, quack. No, that was that was me. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't get laid that night. But, uh, no, speaking of sex, I, I'm a big Redditor, I don't know who else uh, Reddit's out there as well. <laughs> but uh, I did see something the other day that was interesting. It was a comparison, you know, uh, uh, women and men, you know, the frequency that we have sex and how that relates to our happiness. And it was interesting, the, the, the contrast there. So for women, it was like, you know, four plus times in, uh, you know, a week, you know, very happy, ecstasy levels, you know two to three times a week, you know, you know, so pretty happily, one time a week, you know, kind of fall down a little bit, you know, from there, you know, one time a month, you better believe, you know, Johnny Peckerton's getting the batting order, you know, one time every six months, you know, where's the fucking hogging us? Uh, and, and interesting, you know, for, for guys, it was like, you know, four times a week, oh, fuck, yeah, yeah, we're oh, very happy. You know, two, three times a week, yeah, still pretty fucking happy. You know, one time a, a week, yeah, still pretty happy. One time a month, yeah, one time every six months, well, you remember that one time, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it just kind of goes in, into the, the culture. I mean, as guys, we're kind of like, we get up there and, and we got one thing, right? We're going up there and we're like, we just got one high like, mission. We're going there, boom, 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 boom. We're done. <laughs> for, 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 for girls, there's way more into it. It's, it's a narrative. It's, it's a buildup. 
You know, you, you have the, the, the beginning, the foreplay, the build-up, the climax, that kind of crescendo. There's so much more into it. And if you've been into, uh, you know, physical ed class, you know that guys last anywhere between 15 minutes and 20 seconds. So, uh, I don't know about you, but that's a pretty fucking short story. Uh, uh, and so, how do, how do we do that? How do we beat the biological barriers that we have in front of us as guys. What, what are we to do? How, how do we defeat nature in that respect? What, like how, how are we supposed to accomplish this? So, I mean, not every guy is going to tell you, but, you know, I think every single one of these guys know that you have a little real tape in your head that, 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 that you play when, when you're in those intimate moments that kind of desensitize you a little bit. And, uh, for me, it took a little while to figure out what that's going to be, and so for me, it started off as kind of just a, a little rock, you know, just like, oh, it's a rock, it's concrete, it's nothing, and then it became a statue. <laughs> oh, well, who that statue is Cleopatra, the Egyptian goddess, or Catherine the Great, you know, setting out her deficits to, you know, uh, you know, elope with some of the men who realized what they're kind of like, and it's like, oh, well, that's not going to work, and then it's like, oh, well, maybe a zombie. What's what's sexy about a zombie, right? You know, but. What if, you, what if she's a hot zombie? You know? what, if, what if she's got some tits or a bug and she's coming over? Uh, uh, maybe she's coming over to give you brain. You don't know. I mean, uh, 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 uh. But uh, you know, eventually I realized you know something that worked for me is uh, you know there's nothing sexy about FedEx kingdoms. <laughs> People doing, you know, you know uh, uh, faxes and, and, and using photocopiers and staples and, and whiteout and rubber bands and, you know, that worked out, you know, very well for me. But eventually it turned into a thing of, you know, both sex and FedEx Kinko's becoming synonymous. <laughs> so a girl walking down in a purple and orange dress. Damn, girl, you're looking good. A girl down in the mail room. Like, you better believe she's got some good logistics. The guy's like, what <laughs> And, uh, you know, I had one, you know, particularly kind of weird day dream. It was so surreal that the other girl was going, that I just heard this girl going, oh, yeah, baby. So hot. Laminating your penis. <laughs> Fucking your balls with packing peanuts. Oh my god. You got a package there? <laughs> Looks like you got a heavy load. Oh! I woke up! I was in FedEx Kingdoms! <laughs> you know, I've been thrown out of better places, but uh, <laughs> you always miss FedEx Kingdoms. <laughs> hey, thanks guys.